you guys so it is 8 47 and i am getting dressed to go get tested for covid um yeah i don't know i i feel like i have the symptoms but i don't like i've been super tired i've been more tired than i usually have been i have had a slightly sore throat over the last like three days i didn't get all this stuff until about sunday and then I had like a runny nose, but not like where I have to blow my nose. It's just kind of been sitting in there. And I've been having a headache, which I haven't gotten headaches in a while. And then my back has been hurting me more, but I've been sleeping funnier. And I'm also like two weeks late on my period, which I'm not pregnant. I can tell you guys that for 100% positive, not pregnant. So I don't know what is going on, but I just made an appointment, or I just registered to go get a test, so we're going to go get a test. Um, I don't think the kids have it at all. I asked Ben all these questions, and he said no, but we did cancel our appointment to hang out with Graham's parents today, so I'm just going to go take the kids, because we don't know how long we have to sit in the car for. I don't think it'll be that long, um, but we're just going to, I'm just going to go, and then hopefully I can get my results by, like, tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but yeah, Ben's not saying he's sick at all. There's nothing Ben does. Charlotte feels completely fine. Graham's a little bit on my side, but I think I have it worse. But I feel completely fine, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but I'd rather be just safe than sorry, but I'm really hoping we can get our results fast. So I'm going to get dressed, get something to eat, and then we're going to get going. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of scared to do the whole nose thing but you know what i'd rather be safe and then if i am positive we i will not be going couponing this week i will not be leaving my house <sighs> i know it sucks it sucks but um that's how it is so i will catch you guys back when we're in the car and we're ready so it is 11:42. i just found out i'm so happy i looked before i left their times used to, to get tested used to be from eight to eight on tuesdays well now they changed it from noon to eight so it takes about 20, a little bit more than 20 minutes to get there. So me and the kids are going to get going right now to go. I don't know. I 50% of me says I'm fine. And then 50% of me says I'm sick. But, you know, once you get something in your head, your body, like, thinks you're sick. So then it gets more of the symptoms. So that could be it, too. I don't know. But we're going to get going. I might record me getting the test. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I'll catch you guys when we're there. Okay, you guys, so it is currently 12.14. I'm at the location where we're supposed to get tested. Um, there's two exits off kind of like the interstate. It's like a mini interstate. Um, I took the second one, and then everybody wants to turn right. So I ended up turning left, went down the road, and now I'm in the lane, in the left lane. I've been sitting on this bridge for a couple minutes now. The lights have already turned green about four times, and I still haven't been through the lights. Um, so I have no idea how long this is going to take. When I did go past the one exit, there was probably a hundred cars. So we're gonna be here for a while. So I'm just gonna say it's 12:14, um, and we're just getting in line. Um, how we're doing the COVID test is basically you pre-register, and then um, you go to the test. You just basically just go, um, and then they take they you sit in your car the whole time, and then you just take a little swab. I'm super scared to do it, but a lot of people says it just tickles. I don't know. But, like, sitting here, I feel like I'm burning up, but I'm not. Like, I don't know if it's just in my head. Because there are, you know, when people say, like, have you ever heard of, like, a hysterical pregnancy? Like, some people want to get pregnant so badly that they start feeling the symptoms of being pregnant, and they're not. It's called a hysterical pregnancy. So, this could be Will just... Get no, I'm not going to get hurt. Oh, look, the green light again, and we're still not moving. Um, I'll probably sit through this green light two more times. Oh, oh, I don't want to... I don't want to block the intersection. So I will see you guys, but it is 12.15. Let's get ready to see you guys. So the time is now 12.35. We have only got, maybe have gone less than a mile since I vlogged 20 minutes ago. So we, the place that we're having it in our area is called the Lion Energy Center. This is a place that we go to concerts and stuff. Um, like we saw Disney on Ice. I saw, I don't know. Elmo. Yeah, we saw Elmo there and stuff. And in Hot Wheels Monster Truck. Yeah. So, you guys, like, this is ridiculous. So, that's the building we go in. Um, and they're having people go in and out, in and out, in and out of the traffic just to get the line going. But, I mean, look at, I'm almost there. Almost there. 
and then I don't know how long the line is until we get inside that place but we've been going on over 20 minutes and we've only gone a mile or not even a mile I don't even know probably no I can see it behind me that's probably less than a mile I don't know <sighs> so let's get waiting some more hey guys so I'm in the parking lot thing and then there was a sign that says there's an 80 minute wait are you kidding me there better not be an 80 minute wait okay so we are near the building that I pointed to and now they're having us go in a parking lot what I don't understand what they're doing okay I'll see you guys back in a bit okay I want to give you guys an update it is 1242 and what they're doing is they're having us drive into the parking lot and then they have us go through a lane and then they pretty much have us park in a row so basically what they're doing is they're just constantly keeping the cars moving at all times but where there's like one two three four i think one two three four five six we're like in the seventh row i think so everybody and there's probably about one two three four five six seven I don't eight, want it, nine, ten. So there's like 12 cars per row there's seven rows and what they're doing is that's how they keep the people moving so it said an 80 I minute wait an does. 80 minute wait ben's gonna show you bucky okay bucky had a pacifier yeah so I think I'm just going to shut the car off and roll down the windows and we're going to be sitting here for a while. That's just the way it's going to be crazy. But that's the way things happen. That's the way it's going to be. Okay guys, so my parking lot that I sit in is pretty much empty and now we're going to go in a huge long line. There's more people getting in line and I'll show you guys kind of how what they're doing. But this is just crazy. Just crazy. Sorry, I'm trying to drive and vlog at the same time so these people are basically gonna get in line like we just did i'm in one separate line there's a police officer that's guiding traffic but they're basically just rolling up the cars in a row there's like 10 12 cars maybe 15 in a row tops and then we're gonna go out in front of the building but it's just crazy crazy okay you guys so it is now 116. Um, we're now on the other side of the building and there's at least 400 cars here. There's like one, two, three, four, five. There's like 20 cars per row and there's at least 20 rows. It's crazy. So we're gonna be sitting here for a while. I got the kids just chilling in the back. Windows are rolled down. Um, I got some snacks. I don't have any water though, but that's well, we're okay. It's not like it's super super hot But I was not expecting it to be this long so It's just crazy 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 crazy. I did run into one person. I used to work with he's guiding traffic right now, so Yeah I don't know but I will catch you guys back <sighs> Hopefully this gets a little bit faster Okay, you guys, it's now 2.49, and we are finally driving. Um, I got maybe about a five-minute more wait until we get into the building. The building's just right there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. We've been here for almost two and a half hours. I said 12.15 is when we started, and it's already 2.49. 12.15 so, is not a number. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Okay, so that's what we're going on. Um, so ready for this to be done and over with ready to go home I'm tired but I'm happy that I'm getting it done hopefully it's negative because we have a lot of stuff going on but if it happens it happens and we'll just cancel our our stuff Okay, you guys, I didn't know my steering wheel was right inside the camera, but they just pretty much just like did twist. Get your seatbelt on. They just did like twist in my nose, but it is 3.06 and we are finally done. So now we're going to go home. I'm probably going to get something to eat for the kids, um, but we're going to go home and chill. Guys, so it's 6.10. I haven't done anything today. 
Um, my body feels really warm. I, I mean, I just feel super sore. I fell asleep on the couch and then the kids kept waking me up. So then I just talked to my mom. My mom's still fine. She's still doing good. So I don't know if she got it or not. Me and her weren't like really close to each other. So, but I just found out that my brother just tested for, uh, for Corona also. And he lives in Arkansas. And I think he's having it a little bit worse than I am. So he says he's having a hard time breathing or his chest is starting to hurt. But he's got a lot of the same symptoms as I do. So he got tested. He says he'll find out, I think, tomorrow, the day or so. But he had, had to only wait two hours to get tested. I had to wait th almost three and a half from two fifth or 12.15 to 3.07. 3.07, that's how long I had to wait. Paris, it's okay. She wants a cup and she will get one if she stops crying. She can't hear me, but she walked away. So that's how my day is going. Um, I'm not gonna do anything today. I don't wanna do anything, which is totally fine. Um, I was gonna make a wreath while just sitting on the couch, but I realized I don't have the right stuff for it, so can't cut that out. Um, I accidentally got round table round tablecloths instead of a square one, and then the round ones just cut out a lot smaller, so I have to get a red one, but I don't know when I'll get a red one next because I don't know what's going on. But I should be blinging cups, but I'm just not feeling r right now. I'm just not feeling it. And it's okay. A lot of you guys don't need that stuff till Christmas, which I will be, you know, get it done a lot faster than that. But I'm just not feeling it. And I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this is such a gorgeous day outside, and I'm just too weak to enjoy it. So hopefully everything gets better. Graham says he's starting to feel bad, but he works at his job. He works in a room where he's just by himself. He li works in a tiny little office room where he doesn't talk to anybody. So he's been keeping his distance. But he said today during this whole thing, he would have never waited as long as I did. He would have, he, Graham has zero patience, zero whatsoever. He can't handle more than waiting, you know, 10 minutes for things. So he said he would have been super mad if he had to wait in line for this. And I'm like, well, most likely if I tested positive, he will test positive. But I don't know. The kids, Ben still says he feels fine. The movie we are currently watching is, I just watched Don't Look Under the Bed. It was a Disney movie. Never realized it. That was kind of a lame movie. I like kind of fell asleep during it. So that was another movie off my checklist. We are now watching The Little Vampire. That's a movie on my checklist. And then I think later tonight, it's 6, 6, 6, 13. I think later tonight we're going to watch Beetlejuice or I don't know. I got to watch a non-scary movie. And then later tonight I'm going to watch a scary movie. But I am extremely thirsty. So I'm going to get some water and Charlotte just took all the baby wipes out. I'm gonna get some water and just relax and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hey you guys, so it is 8.10. Ben is just doing his class uh, schoolwork for today. I, we just had to, yeah, I'm just like worn out from that. It is like heck, it is hot as heck in my house. It's 72. Um, we have the air's on, but we haven't had it on because it's just nice and comfortable in here. But I think I'm gonna have Graham shut the air, the heat off completely. But yeah, we're just working on Ben's schooling right now. Um, I'm tired. Graham says he'll be home a little after 8:30, so hopefully we can get the kids to go to bed. But you know that's not gonna happen. But I did make sure Charlotte took she took a nap and uh, on her way to the testing thing. And then she woke up like right when we got there. So she's pretty much been up since noon. Um, so I hope she can go to bed soon. She hasn't start rubbing her eyes yet. Um, but hopefully I'm going to get the kids hopefully get ready to bed for, till 9 o'clock. And then I'm just going to sit in bed and watch a movie. <clears throat> huh? What? I didn't say you are. So... Just, and I already told you guys, I think my brother already tested for COVID today too. He said he had to wait two hours, which is crazy, but my place is a mess and I don't care about it. I don't feel good to take care of it. I just want to sit back and relax, but um, I do want to bling, but I just am completely with, every time I want to do it, 
I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it, and I put Charlotte to bed, and then she wakes up like right after that. So I need to just possibly tomorrow I'm gonna do it, but I just need a break, you guys. Like I, I'm not worn out, I'm not burn out. I just need a catch, a break. I just need some time for myself, and I gotta be with the kids because we don't want to be with anybody right now. But I, um, I'm gonna possibly work on a different Christmas wreath, the the tube mesh. I forgot I had that stuff. I do know I had it. I just forgot about it. So I'm gonna get that stuff started. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things that I want to make. I just. Want to go get supplies for it? Cause I'm so stupid that I grabbed a a red. Hold on, honey. I grabbed a red round tablecloth instead of a rectangle, so I can't pretty much do anything with that red. So screwed with that. But I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm just gonna sit back. Ben, just stop. No. I know. Stop. Pay attention. Charlotte, where's your cover for that? Can I have that? Thank you. It's clean. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys later. Sorry for the long day, but that's what I had to go through. The kids were actually super perfect. Ben didn't have his tablet or anything with us today, and he did really, really, really good without being on his medicine. I think he did awesome. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I feel better, have a better productive day, and hopefully we get my results tomorrow. Um, I'm really hoping we get my results back tomorrow because Ben has school on Thursday. Otherwise, I might have to keep him home. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.